This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman will news report today, June 12th. 2024. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. As most of my subscribers and viewers know, ladies and gentlemen, we had the system shut down for recalibration today, and that was about a four hour period here. I'll show you the warning real quick. We have a problem though because we've just had another huge proton event, which is almost unexplainable, and we're running a C2 or 3 baseline. So, just to make sure everyone knows, Noah was offline from 1521 UTC time, exactly when GOES X-ray was not working, and this was their pre-warning of that event. With that said, something just nailed our planet. It looks like a filament eruption or a solar flare. Our space weather conditions threshold may or may not be met, but this was a big blast to even move the proton flux like this. A very big blast. The problem is, is Nothing shows up on GOES. Or does it? It looks, I wonder what that square there is. It looks like there was a huge eruption. And a very huge eruption over the last four or five hours. Now remember, I'm always first. And I use the actual words that need to be used in the sentence. All right, so here we go for our D region absorption prediction center. And we're actually trying to go back into a, we are going back into a polar cap absorption event with no flare or filament showing up on GOES. Although, they did have it turned off for four or five hours. As I showed y'all, this is ongoing. It continues hour after hour after hour. Wow, is all I can say. And let me say, what's interesting is we don't see an impact. Let's see if there's some time missing or something. No impact whatsoever. So this to me is probably the biggest freak show that we've ever seen. This is a full Arctic polar cap and now Antarctic polar cap absorption event with no big impact. Wow, what is going on? Did the atmosphere evaporate? All right, this is so perplexing. Uh, this is Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. I see no explosions over the last hour or two on our star. Uh, we do have, we know for sure, protons uh, just spiking up extremely high. And then we know we're in a polar absorption event again, right? All right, NOAA has come out with a story in the last few minutes. It was the far side explosion, and it's touching Earth. Protons are raining down on Earth's atmosphere today, today the 12th, due to an explosion on the far side of the sun. What would be the source? Source of the blast was old sunspot air 3664. Why won't Noah call this 3697? Earth is connected to the sunspot via the Parker spiral, which we can also call Earth's geomagnetic connection, not Earth's electromagnetic field, to that limb of the sun. That's for Stefan. 
So again, the Earth is connected to that far side sunspot that's already around the limb via the Parker spiral. I will show you that very shortly. The Parker spiral guides energetic protons from the far side of our sun to Earth. Again, our geomagnetic connection. Say it. Protein rain is what we're going to call it. It's our new term. Is on the verge of becoming an S1 class radiation storm, even though this coronal mass ejection occurred on the backside of our star. What a freak show. It's coming right out of Noah here. All right, I'm going to have to say, now I've seen it all. We have a huge coronal mass ejection. It's like that's going to hit Parker SP, Osiris Apex, the old Osiris Rex. Looks like it's going to hit Solo. And it looks like we have a hard hit on Mars as well, but away from Earth. And they're saying that the protons hit our Lasco C3, which is our satellite that only orbits about 100 miles above or around Earth, if you will, when the sun is supposed to be 93.3 million, million miles away. So this is a hard equation to swallow here. So for me, the hardest thing to swallow here is that we're in a polar cap absorption event again. Radiation is pouring into our poles from an event that happened on the other side of our star. If I sound confused, it's because I'm more than confused. And I definitely don't like the, well, time out, if you will, or recalibration of the models during this exact time period. This is a total freak show. Now, with all that said, let's all get together and hope that was not 3702, which is actually already shown activity here. If it was, we're in a lot more trouble than we hoped for. What a strange event we've seen tonight. A solar flare going in the opposite direction, causing a proton storm here on Earth and a polar cap absorption event, although it was, well, headed the opposite direction from Earth. All comments and well, questions are more than appreciated in the comments below. Uh, please share our videos, guys. Please subscribe and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you.